क्लास नाइन सब्जेक्ट साइंस बायोलॉजी चैप्टर सिक्स टिश्यूज टॉपिक्स टू बी लर्न इन दिस वीडियो परमानेंट टिश्यू परमानेंट टिश्यू द सेल्स फॉर्म्ड बाय मेरिस्टेमैटिक टिश्यू टेक अप अ स्पेसिफिक रोल एंड लूज द एबिलिटी टू डिवाइड एज अ रिजल्ट दे फॉर्म अ परमानेंट टिश्यू दिस प्रोसेस ऑफ टेकिंग अप अ परमानेंट शेप साइज and a function is called differentiation differentiation leads to the development of various types of permanent tissues there are two types of permanent tissue first simple permanent tissue second complex permanent tissue simple permanent tissue a few layers of cells beneath the epidermis are generally simple permanent tissue Simple permanent tissue are three types they are parenchyma collenchyma and sclerenchyma parenchyma parenchyma is the most common simple permanent tissue it consists of relatively unspecialized cells with thin cell walls they are living cells they are usually loosely arranged thus large spaces between cells intercellular spaces are found in this tissue figure a this tissue generally stores food in some situations it contains chlorophyll and performs photosynthesis and then it is called chlorenchyma in aquatic plants large air cavities are present in parenchyma to help them flow such a parenchyma type is called erenchyma collenchyma a permanent tissue that gives flexibility in plants it allows bending of parts like tendrils and stems of climbers without breaking figure b it also provides mechanical support this tissue is found in leaf stalks below the epidermis cells are living elongated and irregularly thickened at the corners there is very little intercellular space sclerenchyma it makes the plant hard and stiff example husk of a coconut cells are dead long and narrow as the walls are thickened due to lignin often the walls are so thick that there is no internal space inside the cell figure c these tissues found in stems around vascular bundles in leaf veins and hard covering of seeds and nuts it provides strength to the plant parts the outer most layer of cells is called epidermis it is usually made of a single layer of cells epidermis covers and protects the plant surface in plants in dry habitats the epidermis may be thicker to prevent water loss epidermal cells on the aerial parts of the plant secret a waxy water resistant layer it protects against loss of water mechanical injury and parasitic fungi due to the protective role epidermal cells form a continuous layer without intercellular spaces most epidermal cells are relatively flat outer and side walls are thicker than the inner wall the epidermis of leaf has small pores called stomata stomata are enclosed by two kidney shaped cells called guard cells stomata help for gas exchange and transpiration loss of water vapor in roots epidermal cells help in water absorption their long hair like parts increase absorptive surface area desert plants have a thick coating of cutin waxy chemical with waterproof quality on outer surface of the epidermis it reduces water loss through transpiration the outer layer of a tree branch differs from that of a young stem as plants grow older the outer protective tissue changes forming cork layers of cells from secondary meristem cells in the cortex cells of cork are dead and compactly arranged without intercellular spaces they have subrin in their walls that makes them impervious to gases and water 
complex permanent tissue the another type of permanent tissue is complex tissue complex tissues are made of more than one type of cells all these cells coordinate to perform a common function xylem and phloem are examples of such complex tissues they are both conducting tissues and constitute a vascular bundle vascular tissue is a distinctive feature of the complex plants it enables their survival on the land xylem xylem consists of tracheids vessels xylem parenchyma and xylem fibers tracheids and vessels have thick walls and many are dead cells when mature their tubular shape allows them to transport water and minerals vertically the xylem parenchyma stores food xylem fibers are supportive in function phloem phloem consists of five types of cells sieve cells sieve tubes companion cells phloem fibers and phloem parenchyma sieve tubes are tubular cells with perforated walls phloem transports food from leaves to other parts phloem cells are living except phloem fibers thanks for watching please like and subscribe my channel